especially if you are in your 20s or early 30s, then dating and pickup would definitely be something that you would like to improve. By improving in these areas, you not only improve as a man who understands female nature and dynamics, but even more importantly, you understand yourself. You start to understand social dynamics, what triggers people, how you can control a situation. You start to understand how to deal with different people, what turns them on as young men. These social skills are crucial. If you want to improve in social settings and even business, all these things are interconnected. Most of the raw truths you are about to hear. You may not like the sound of them at first. The first raw truth every young man needs to know is this. The more attractive she is, the harder you have to be. Now, don't take this the wrong way by heart. I don't mean that you should be like that one gym, bro who doesn't have a chest and still walks around with his chest out. Normally out, this doesn't mean that you should act hard and start being the bully. Simply put, don't be a simp the first time you will interact with a girl who's a 10 on your attractive scale. It's very easy to put her on a pedestal because you are a newbie to the game. It's very easy to fall into the simp trap. You might start calling her beautiful, the women of your dreams and so on. The more you do this, the higher you raise the pedestal. Remember, if you treat a woman, especially an attractive woman like a celebrity, then guess how she will treat you. You already know it like a fan. Surprisingly, from all my friends in the dating and pickup game, they all say the same thing from all their experiences. They have found women to subconsciously not be aware of their own beauty. What do I mean by that? Well, every woman likes to think she's beautiful when she has her makeup on and beauty products on. But the moment you treat her like any average girl without letting her attractiveness interfere in the way you treat her, she will forget her mindset that I am too beautiful to interact with this person. Treat her like any other girl and this is the first raw truth you should understand. The more attractive she is, the harder you have to be. Bottom line. Don't be a SYMP for any girl. Whether she is a 1 on your attractive scale or a 10, all girls are hardwired the same way. Don't let their skin and attractiveness make you think otherwise. Raw truth number 2 Ignore her words and focus on her actions. There would have been so many times when a woman was showing you choosing signs and you didn't understand at that time, right? It happens to most men who are new to the game. Maybe two years later or so when you were taking a shower. You all of a sudden remember. Oh, that woman was giving me choosing signals. As you start to learn more about how women behave, you look back on your old interactions and you can immediately tell from how the woman was behaving, that she was interested in you. But at that time, you were too much of a newbie to understand. This is what it means by ignoring her words and focusing on her actions. Many times a woman will say things that might make you think she is not interested in you. She might call you short or too young for her or she might even outright say you're not my type. This is what you would call a shit test. Look past that. Hold your frame by holding your frame. It doesn't mean that you should fire back aggressively on the woman for her shit test. Simply keep that flirtatious vibe and feed off her actions. Take note of her eyes. How she looks at you, how she moves around you. These are the biggest indicators to how a girl feels about you. Rat truth number 3 and this is a big one, especially if you are in your late teens or early 20s. Then as a man, you need to get this carved into your mindset. Don't chase women instead become the man that women will chase. As the saying goes, if you chase something, it means that it's running away from you. You are not a chaser. Instead you attract. But in order to attract, you must have something to give some sort of value to share. Remember, everything in this world is a trade. Every person, every friend and every interaction we have in this world is because we want something or someone wants to receive something from us. Same thing applies here. If you have something of value to share with women, 
then they will come to you, meaning you will attract. Think of yourself like a magnet. When you first start out, your magnet is very weak. But slowly as you start to build a better physique, better mindset. You start grooming yourself, so you look presentable. You smell good and you hold yourself to a higher standard instead of just flapping off here and there. Then automatically your magnet starts to become stronger. Why? Because you are increasing the polarity, you are becoming more masculine. And the more masculine you are, the easier it is to attract the feminine rock. Truth number four women you previously pursued and got rejected by will later be interested when they see you have a different woman. Young brothers, note this down. Women love social proof. That's right. Women love social proof. Guess why the majority of Instagram users are females like entrepreneur and car says women like to wait at the finish line and choose the winner by social proof. I mean the amount of social attention you get, what people think about you, how people treat you. Once you start to improve in these areas, you automatically move up on the attractive scale of the women. Imagine for a second that you had a friend who had a massive crush on this one girl, but she wouldn't even talk to him. But fast forward 15 years and that friend is now a successful actor. He earns good. He has fans now do you think that girl would find him attractive 100% because he now has social proof, social proof not only from his fans but from other women around him as well. Rock truth number 5 embrace rejection. It will make you stronger. Remember, even the best pickup artist or best looking man in the world wouldn't have 100% conversion rate with women. It all comes down to preference. Simply put, even if you have leveled yourself up as a man, most women will find you attractive. But some won't. Instead of crying about it, just move on. Focus on the ones that do want you. The art of moving on and staying grounded is one of the best masculine traits you can master. And being rejected by women is one of the best ways to practice this. After getting rejected, you will train your mind that it's not a big deal. You didn't die. You didn't get hurt. It's just a mental barrier that you need to cross over. If you have studied much psychology, you would know that the reason we are so afraid of rejection dates back to how our ancient ancestors used to live. They lived in groups and tribes. If you were to be rejected from your tribe, you would be all alone and your survival rate decreases significantly because now you have to get food on your own, fight off wild animals on your own, and so on. This is why our brains are still hardwired to be afraid of rejection. But once you do get rejected, you start to train your mind. To overcome this limiting belief, you become mentally stronger, which is one of the best masculine traits to master raw truth. Number 6. Stay away from sin mothers brothers. I can't stress this enough. Single mothers have already been with a man, and whatever they think about being with a man is all based on past experiences. And usually those experiences are negative. If you were to join yourself with her, she will bring all that negativity with her in your life. If there's any single mother listening to this right now, I can already tell that you are triggered by this. But think for a second. Imagine you had a son. Would you want him to be with a woman who is submissive, who has yet to experience life or be with a woman who's been through mental trauma and is likely to put your son through it as well as young men? It's common to be approached by these types of women. Most men that do go down this path start thinking that she is such a lovely woman. She deserves better, and maybe she does. But once you settle down with them, you see a totally different side. Because the past traumas of her life will eventually kick back in by staying away from single mothers. It doesn't mean to never talk to them. Most of the time, these women do need help. And if God puts it in your heart to help them financially, then by all means do so. But don't attach yourself with them sexually and don't settle down with them. Raw truth number seven, walk away from women who reject you. Men have a tendency to make their lives complicated. In fact, 
if a man follows all the correct principles, it's almost impossible to go wrong. You would live such a blissful life. One of the best ways to go wrong is to keep chasing the women who has clearly ignored you. Note this down. Your reaction should mirror hers. If she gives you choosing signals, then feed off that and escalate the game further. It's almost like you reward her behavior or punish it, sort of to speak. If she ignores you, the best thing you can do as a man is to walk away. Remember, a man's biggest superpower is to remain grounded and think with a clear mind without letting emotions come into play. Women are emotional creatures, but men not so much. If she walks away, then, like I said before your actions show mirror hers. Raw Truth Number 8 Don't share your weakness with a woman. Seek professional help. If you do go in a serious rut. Ever read about Samson and Delilah? Everyone knows the story. Samson was the strongest man to ever walk the earth. His secret was in his hair. And why did he lose it all by sharing the secret to his weakness? Remember, women are there to share the highlights of your life with us young men, especially if you have a very serious weakness or in need of help. It should be the men around you that you seek help from as men. The things you depend on your women for and the things you share with her should be totally different to those that you share with your fellow men. If you are already in a relationship, then you would agree with this that every time you share a very dark secret or weakness with a woman, it's very likely that she will use that to exploit you or bring that up when you have an argument in future as men. If you need answers and help, it should be other men around you and God himself that you go to. Simply accept that females are hardwired differently to us men and play the game. At the end of the day, it's a game. Don't take it too seriously. Talk to women. Increase your social skills. If you get rejected, well, learn from it and move on. And if God does bring a girl into your life, then by all means do settle down. But don't forget these raw truths. As always, brothers hold yourself up to high standards and those around you don't forget to show some love. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like button for the algorithm. Comment below what content you would like to see next. See you in the next video.